you would have wanted the instructors to, you know, coach and uh, sort of mentor the kids in a certain way. Were you sort of instructing her on how you want the, the coaches to be trained? And, and what were some of the main things that you were trying to instill in the coaches? And what, what are the main sort of things that you were trying to get across in your coaching? That's a good point because I would have instructor meetings. So the instructors mm. knew who I was mm. and I would speak to them. But a lot of them, well, for all of them, English was not their first language. So the nuances they couldn't get. And I wasn't, I didn't have the ability to get that across. So I always felt there was always a disconnect between what I really wanted and what they were able to offer just because they couldn't understand the small nuances that go along with any language. Mm -hmm. It'd be the same, a foreigner coming over here with a different language, trying to teach Japanese kids in a way that would make them really functionable in Japan. Yeah. I was trying to prepare our kids for a world audience. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't coming across the way I wanted, but at again, again, I felt bad about this, but I couldn't do both. Sure. So instead of trying to be so strict about it being the way I thought it should be, I would let it go sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just so that I could continue to bring in business from the scanner business. Yeah, sure. Because a lot of times, and then I had a gymnastics team too, and there was no way we would be able to charge the parents the amount of money it would cost for me to rent the gyms to keep a gymnastics team. So I was funding it. Okay. So a lot of money just to keep the program going. Mm -hmm. You know, but that yeah. was my heart. We got the scanner business was good because it created capital, but it yeah. didn't give me a fulfilling feeling that I was really making a difference. In, in in someone's life yeah, but yeah gymnastics yeah. did and i and like to go on a little bit further when i finally did start to trim it down and get involved again and get my sons involved because i knew it'd be a good training lesson training training environment for them to understand how to deal with other human beings yeah so i made it mandatory that all of my sons taught with me and right. to be honest that was the best time in my life I mean, talking about uh, a bond, mm. they'd already bond with each other. And I think that was during their homeschooling. Yeah. But with me, when they had to teach with me every single weekend, yeah, it wasn't by choice. I said, if I were a fisherman, I said, you picked me. I did not pick you. You had a one in a 300 millionth of a chance of being my child. <laughs> Everyone that understands biology understands what I'm saying. So I said, you picked me, I didn't pick you. If I were a fisherman, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I'm a gymnast and I have a program. You guys are going to learn how to teach and work with other people and explain to their parents when they come to you asking how their child is. And I think all that was just a fire. It was just a phenomenal learning experience for my sons. I, could, I can't think of a better way to teach them how to deal with people than to have yeah. them do that. Yeah, yeah. All over the world. Yeah. 